one of the most useful tests you can do with a multimeter is the continuity test which is uh, and that's also got a, a bleep signal on it so I've plugged the probes into the correct terminals so the blacks in the com and the reds in the the V are the ohms and I've now switched the multimeter onto continuity test with beep so what happens now is when you touch the probes together you get a beep and that is really useful for electrical testing so we've got a fuse here and we don't know whether it's working or not so all we need to do is touch one probe on one side and the other probe on the other and you now know that that fuse is working so for locating an electrical fault uh, a multimeter like this with a continuity test on it with the, the beep function is extremely useful we've got a lawnmower here that stopped working so we're just going to do a bit of fault finding now and we're just going to try and determine exactly where the fault is the first thing you would check on something like this would be the fuse because that's the obvious place to start but also we've got a lot of cable here that's all tied up and knotted up and that has a tendency to break and you get internal breaks on it and when you do that you don't get continuity through all the cable so we're just going to unplug it from the actual machine so we've got the plug there that goes into the machine and the plug there that goes into the mains it's important whenever you do any electrical fault finding that you unplug your, your appliance from the mains because you don't need electricity to actually locate a fault you can do it quite easily just using a, a multimeter so I've got my multimeter and it's still switched on to the continuity test with bleep so I'm just going to put that on the worktop I'm afraid you can't see it but you'll, you will hear it so now I'm going to take the plug that goes into the actual lawnmower and I'm going to locate a probe in there and then I'm going to take the plug that goes into the socket normally and I'm going to test and you can see there that we've got continuity so that's telling you that that bit of the circuit is working so now I'm going to swap the probe over onto the other side and then I'm going to take the plug again and when we test that side you can hear that that side is also working so that also tells you that the fuse is working because the fuse is actually in there so we now know that the actual lead on there isn't faulty so now we're just going to open up the lawnmower and it is important that you make sure that nobody can plug it in whilst you're checking it So we'll just take the grass basket out and then if you look there there's actually a micro switch so that'll actually prevent the lawnmower from working if that contact isn't made so that's that's the actual switch which is a, a safety micro switch so we're just going to take that out and then we'll test it So for that switch to work you'd need continuity going through it when it was in the down position. So if we just take our probes and locate them and then press the switch in. You can see that it's just not working at all so that micro switch is gone it's faulty one thing you must never do with an appliance like this is try and override it you should never override any safety switches like that so that's another useful test that you can do with a multimeter